Hello everyone and welcome back to Kayla's Corner. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you all something a little different as you can tell from the title. If you guys are interested in how you too as a small YouTuber can get hair sponsorships and hair collaborations, this video is for you and you guys know all you have to do is just stay tuned. I just want to say that I fleeked my hair, I fleeked my eyebrows, I fleeked the fit, period. But that's not what this video is about, okay? But I just, I did not let y'all know. I'm not the one or the two, the three or the four, the five or the six, period. Okay, but anyway, I'm just going to jump right into the video because I have a bunch of um, quality I feel like information that I can share with you all because look I consider myself a small youtuber a thousand subscribers may seem like a lot to somebody but to me that is a small youtuber and I'm slowly but surely making my way up and it ain't nothing look in order to get to 100k you gotta you gotta be at 1k at some point okay so I'm just gonna be sharing with you all some tips and tricks um, that I think are essential in order to get some collaborations and that first tip is invest in yourself if you don't learn nothing else from this video i need for you to get a pen right invest in yourself and while you do that i'm gonna put some lip gloss on because sis don't tell me you out here expecting these hair companies to dm you or hit you up and you ain't promote no hair on your channel you ain't review nan wig you ain't review no nan hair product. You ain't did nan hair video on your channel. And that may be extreme. But the first step in order to getting people to reach out to you is that you got to invest in yourself. You got to put some money into it. And I'm telling you, after you do that, everything else is going to follow. I believe that's really how I started getting hair collaborations and sponsorships. I don't remember what video it was, but I can tell you I've only bought two wigs it's two and that's it everything else has been sponsored everything else has been given to me by a hair company and that's because i did that first video and put it out there you have to you have to and that's that's this is plain and simple whatever you're looking to promote you have to buy into and that's it that's the basis of it so i wrote these notes back in september september 25th and this one says start from the bottom now we're here <laughs> so I don't know what that was supposed to mean, but future Michaela would say that you have to start somewhere. I say dream big, but you know, you need to have short term and long, long term goals as well. And also I probably put that because at one point I was only at 200 subscribers, obviously, because I'm at a thousand now, but at some point I was, I was down bad, <laughs> like real bad, but look at me now. Like you just got to have the faith and the confidence that your channel going to get to where you need it to be. So started from the bottom. Now we here insert Drake clip. The third thing that I put was to know your worth and the next two go together, three or four go together. I put know your worth because sometimes these companies not sometimes a lot of times these companies will hit you up and they think you owe them something they really think that they doing you a favor and it's like no sir mm -mm. Mm -mm. so in that aspect i say know your worth don't settle for less don't let these people try to get over on you because they have more to offer especially depending on the company they have it to offer they just be trying to lowball and they it's like sis you you slid in my dm I, I did slide in yours. You asked me for the collaboration. I didn't ask you for it. So at that point, it's like, I'm obviously worth something. Even if you have those 200 subscribers, they saw something in you. They saw something in your channel. They saw something in your viewers that made them want to reach out to you. Therefore, know your worth. And then add tags, okay? And that's on, period. The fourth one goes with this, and I tried to not say stuff on number three that went with number four, but the fourth one says, be realistic. Know your worth, but be realistic. Sis, if you only got 200 subscribers, don't be trying to charge you people $500 to do a video. Don't be trying to charge you people $1,000. And that's probably on the more extreme side. But be realistic. Be realistic based off of your views. Be realistic based off of your subscribers. You can have 100,000 subscribers, but if your video is only getting two views, where are your subscribers at? That, again, is on the extreme side. Y'all going to soon learn that Michaela likes to exaggerate. Like, 
I wasn't going to take stuff to the extreme. But I just want y'all to know to be realistic. My teacher always say, be specific. Be specific. Be specific. I'm telling y'all to be realistic. Like, for real. Be realistic. And also to go along with be realistic, say I was at 300 subscribers and I was getting hair sponsorship. And that same company reached out to me when I'm at 1,000 subscribers and it's offering me the same thing that they were offering me at 300 subscribers. Be, be realistic. You got to ask for more. You got to do something. Know your worth, but be realistic. The fifth thing that I said, and it's a tip around working for free, even though wigs don't pay the bills. Because look, these companies think your landlord want wigs as payment. These companies think you can call up Amarin. Hey girl, I'm a, yeah, I know my um bill is $82. Will you take this little Bob wig I got? Amarin is the company in Missouri that do our electric. These companies think you could just take your wig off and hand it to your landlord as payment. And that goes back to me saying that they think they're doing you a favor. In reality, they not. Like, yes, you are giving me a wig. And don't, don't get me wrong now. Wigs are nice to have. But doing videos costs money. Taking pictures costs money. Especially if you're serious about what you do. And if you're serious about your craft. This stuff is going to take time. If you ain't serious about it and you just want to do the bare minimum. Do your video. Not get a good picture. You know, whatever. Accept whatever. But wigs don't pay the bills. I'm sorry. You know, so it, it is hard to kind of manage that as a small YouTuber. Like, this stuff is taking me time. Like, yeah, I'm getting the wig out of it. But I'm spending extra time out of my day to make a video for y'all and promote y'all. And at the end of the day, y'all are the ones that's getting all the clout and stuff for it. And it's like, most of the time, these companies, unless sometimes, like, if your, your pictures get a lot of... um publicity on instagram or a lot of attention on instagram sometimes the companies will promote you speaking of miss jerry Anna janae period she be on all the company websites as i be scrolling and i'd be like that's jerry that that's an example of how companies will for real like if your your pictures are good and your pictures get a lot of attention they'll oh they'll promote you all right but in the end like as a small youtuber it's very very hard so you gotta kind of like realize that as a small small youtuber at some point, from my experience, I feel like at some some point, you're going to be working for free. Tom, since these wigs are not paying the bills, negotiate your terms. And if it's not what you want and you feel like you deserve better in order to compensate for the amount of time that you're doing this video, ask for more. Say, for instance, if you want a 24-inch wig and they offering you a 20, tell them you want a 26 because they're going to try to they're gonna try to knock you down or they're going to try to make you negotiate down. So you'll be like, okay, 24. That's what you wanted from the jump. So you got to kind of know how to negotiate your terms and kind of know what you want. And then also, before you accept the collaboration, this goes with doing work for free. Look at what they're asking you to do. Because with me, I always say, okay, yes, I'm interested. Send me over the details and requirements so I can review them before I make a like a complete decision. So if they want you to do a YouTube video, they want you to post a reel, they want you to post pictures, they want you to go tell your mama to tell your grannies to tell your great cousin in Mississippi to buy their hair. They want you to travel to the Bahamas and promote their hair and come back and then travel to California and do the same thing all for free. No, that's extreme. But I want y'all to know to pay attention to these things when you're working for free and even when you're getting paid to do stuff. The quality of the things that you're asking me to do have to match up with what I'm giving. And if you're only giving me an eight inch bare minimum wig, I'm not doing all that for free. I'm not. So you got to know how to, you got to watch for stuff like that, especially when you're working for free. But like I said, at some point, you're going to be working for free. And then we're going to do a little intermission so that I can announce the giveaway winner for the wig giveaway. But I'm telling y'all to stick around because there will be many, many more. I really want to start incorporating some like secret giveaways like just in the middle of my videos like unannounced for the people that are truly watching. Because there's this one and I already um, DM'd her on Instagram. She supporting, she commenting, she liking Instagram, um, YouTube, 
all of it the whole nine without a giveaway honey she be on it and it just be like the small things like people that you don't even know like that you don't know from a can of paint the people that you don't know that support you they really take it to a whole new level like when you already know people and they support you you kind of it's like kind of expect it even though it's not required you kind of expect that your best friend gonna support you or your mama or your sister gonna support you and like your stuff but it really be the people that you do not know that push you to go harder in lieu of that i decided to pick two giveaway winners and in lieu of ashley being ride or die okay in lieu of ashley being super supportive um i'm going to allow her to pick out whichever wig that she wants first and then the um other winner will be able to have a chance to um pick out whichever wig they like so that's why i say stick around drum roll please <laughs> i'm so lame I do want to thank everybody for entering the wig giveaway. Um, stick around because there are many, 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 many more wig giveaways coming, okay? <clears throat> the next one I said is to scout out the hair companies, our hair and good hair. All hair is not good hair, and that goes along with paying attention. If a company reaches out to you with me, the first thing I'm doing before I even respond to them, I'm looking at their Instagram. I'm looking at their website. I'm looking at reviews on Instagram. They have a tab that shows you who, all the pictures that they've been tagged in. I'm looking at that because I want to make sure this stuff is legit. And I want to make sure that I know what I'm getting myself into as far as working with companies. I want to make sure that the hair, the quality of the hair is good because all hair ain't good hair. And if I can't benefit from the hair, there's no point in me doing the video. Okay. All hair ain't good hair. Make sure you pay attention. Okay. Google websites, Instagram, Twitters, all that. Okay. All these things are going to tell you what you need to know about the company. Um, another thing is, along with scouting out companies and paying attention, is mass emails for me are a no. I just think mass emails are a big no. So anytime I see a mass email, I don't even read it. I just automatically delete it. Okay? Because people be responding and I be like, girl, what are you talking about? And then I realize that they responded to a mass email. Pay attention. Scout these companies out. Pay attention to detail. The next thing that I have to say is have a business email or have whatever method that you prefer to be contacted by. Have that posted somewhere on your YouTube because... These companies will find any and every way to reach out to you. My first collaboration, I did not have a business email. And these people e found my email, my personal email. And I figured, I forget how I figured out how, but some way on YouTube, it shows the uh, email that's associated with your account. And at that time, I didn't have a separate Kayla's Corner email. So I'm like, girl, what I'm like, is this, a, is this a scam? Like, why are you emailing me on my personal email? I was so shocked, but... I mean, if you don't mind your YouTube, if you don't mind your YouTube stuff mixing in with your personal stuff, that's fine. But for me, I like everything to be separated. And I have that in my description box on all of my videos. It's on my um, channel about section. And I let people know for business inquiries, you reach out to this email. So I think having a business account um, or business, YouTube account, business account, whatever you want to call it. I think having that separate is really beneficial. All right, you guys. So that's that are basically all of my tips. If you want to take nothing else from this video, stop what you're doing. If you don't got no wig already and you want to promote a wig, stop what you're doing. Go click that link below and get that AliExpress free wig for $70, $80, how much ever it was. Go get it and go do a review on it or take your butt to Sam's Beauty or the Beauty Supply and buy you a synthetic wig and get to where you need to be, okay? Do not be discouraged. Keep going. Keep pushing. You're going to get to where you need to be. I'm telling you. Listen to me. I would not lie to you. I'm your, I'm your sister. I'm your cousin. I'm related to you however you want to be related to me. I'm not going to lie to you, y'all. Okay? Disclaimer. Everybody's YouTube journey is different. And the way things pan out for everybody is different. That's why I said 
to me, the most important thing on here was to invest in yourself. Because I really feel like everybody who was big in this YouTube world, who was big in influencing, they bought into whatever they were looking to promote. And that's how they got where they are. That's simple. Everybody on YouTube is going to grow at different rates and things like that. And that's just how it is. Okay. But if you buy into, you have to, you have to buy into whatever you're looking for. As always, um, I really hope you all got something from this video. Follow one step, two step, three step, four step, five step, six step, seven steps. Follow all the steps, okay? And hopefully YouTube will get to where you want to be on your YouTube journey, on your influencing journey. As always, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see and talk to y'all in my next one.